Hello there, viewer, and welcome to another SOS reading. I hope you're doing well out there, viewer and viewer. We're going to be finding out all that we can when it comes to your current situation for the viewer. All right, viewer, let's see. Whew. You might be um, exploring some new places, okay? Some of you, it could be far away. Some, it could just be some type of adventure that may seem like it takes you far uh, to far away places. Um, so take what resonates for you, but get ready for new horizons. I am sensing possibly two of wands coming through. So fire signs uh, is coming through Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. There could be something about foreign themes going on as well. So it's like get ready, prepare, um, and maybe just prepare for something totally brand new and unexpected, but positive. So let's see what else you need to know when it comes to your situation viewer. And also, viewer, you can check out the playlist tab for uh, other messages if you feel like it. And also check out shorts. Those are uh, a new addition to the channel with other uh, messages as well that you might like. Okay, what is this? See, there's something about your future. I was sensing this uh, two of wands, which, which is about planning for the future. Oh my goodness, look at this. You may travel or host an overseas traveler soon. Either way, great social fun awaits. See, I was getting something about it being really fun, exciting, um, something that you may not expect, okay? So I would just say release expectations of what's possible and just be open uh, to something quite different, unique, and fun. How perfect is that? Okay, let's see, what else for the viewer? Viewer, you are stepping into power, okay? Uh, you are strong beyond measure. I'm sensing a combination going on here between maybe strength card and six of wands. Because some of you viewers, because this is a general reading, it might be uncomfortable to be stepping out into the light or having to take charge. Now, some of you viewers, you love it, you like it, you're getting more confirmation that you are stepping into uh, a courageous path for yourself. So good, but trust that you are stepping into power and whether you realize it or not, you've got some people following you, okay? You really are a earth guide, I'm sensing, uh, earth angel, light worker, you know, whatever you want to call yourself. You're just someone, let, let's just say this, you've got this energy that is inspirational anyways. It's just a natural thing about you, okay? So let's continue and see. And I'm seeing this person is, charging into uncharted territories, right? Far away places. And this is exactly where you're going. Going, So get excited about this. And hopefully you are. What else for the viewer? Viewer. Okay, keep going forward. This is like more push of that six of wands because we're highly attracting positive situations and circumstances to ourself. Uh, trust that you are, you know, rising up in your situation so keep moving forward because you're going to make it to the top of the mountain viewer okay now some of you viewers you may be feeling a little lonely okay but you're never alone you're being guided to keep moving forward um, and to taste that sweet um, taste of success okay and i know a lot of you viewers have already tasted a lot of success in one's life big or small just focus on that don't focus on where you've been, just keep going forward. Let's see what else for the viewer. Some of you viewers, I am picking up a uh, hermit. Hermit's coming through right now too. So you could have been in a period where you've been doing some soul searching. Maybe you are continuing to do some soul searching, uh, maybe with others in sacred territories, physical or non-physical. Okay, so take what resonates. What else for the viewer? You're going deep and exploring your roots. So I'm sensing you being able to put your roots down or for at least a time period period where we don't have to rush or force anything. We can take our time as we're ascending the mountain. And I feel for a lot of you viewers, it's an important to implement um, breaks. Okay, everybody needs a break in life, right? But there could be something where we're exploring ancestral things, um, 
you know, good or bad, it doesn't matter. It's giving you knowledge and wisdom, but I'm also sensing you leaving a legacy as well. Okay. So these, this oak tree is deeply rooted like you. So there's something about you becoming more and more deeply grounded and rooted, um, which is bringing you a lot of security and comfort, uh, comforts in life here. Okay. So I feel a lot of you, you're drawing in and magnetizing exactly what it is you need for the next step for you. And as you keep going deep and exploring your roots, you're again, going to make your roots stronger and stronger. Ooh. Okay. What else for the viewer? Oh, look at that card just wanted to pop out too. Let's see what this is. Cleansing water purification activates a uh, vibrant life force. We we're just talking about, you know, taking it easy as you're moving forward. So you have been and are activating some type of vibrant life force within yourself. Maybe for some, it feels new. Maybe for some, it just feels like an old friend coming back, right? Cause we're sensing empowerment, cleanse, uh, cleansing, um, energies. So we're at a place of really bringing renewed spirit to oneself and others take some time out to really bliss out too. Okay. I feel a lot of you, you're in a place of balancing, um, your mind, your emotions, uh, your physical self here. Something is lining up here. I'm getting star energy. So here's like this two of wands and you're walking through this, you know, this path here. And here we've got this place where you are igniting, stabilizing and grounding some type of new, or, you know, some of you, it's already been in you, this act of life force. Okay. That wants to be in the forefront. What else for the viewer? And you will be taken care of during difficult times, or this is what I'm getting. A lot of you, you have been, uh, you have been, uh, getting, you know, your needs met or something has been taken care of for you physically, non-physically, spiritually, um, as you're moving here, you know, as you've been going through some challenges or difficult times, we got this thing about nature and you can see, look, it's all about nature in, in all of these cards, right? The cleansing waters, a mountain grounding faraway places. So some of you, you could be exploring new places, um, out in nature. Okay. And I don't see you doing it alone. So we have fellow travelers, um, or a sense of a fellow traveler aligning with you interact with nature in the outdoors around animals, a viewer farmlands or by the ocean. This will be good for the soul and healing for you, especially when you do so much for others as well. Okay. So it got to take some time out to activate your own vibrant life force. Assert yourself. <laughs> oh my goodness. Go for what you want. The time is ripe for soulmate connections. There could be a birth of a child or enterprise is also likely. See something new is lining up to you. So it looks like you'll be asserting yourself, stepping into power, feeling a lot more comfortable and confident. Okay. And going after who and what it is you want. You could be building a team for some of you. What else for the viewer journey by moonlight? This is a time to believe in magic viewers. So there's a lot of mystery at play here and it's, it's on purpose. <laughs> it's on purpose because there's something about, you know, unexpected, um, you know, travels or unexpected horizons here. Let's get a little bit more with uh, journey by moonlight for a lot of you viewers. I feel like this would be like if this, because I'm sensing moon card, which can bring about some fears, but it also brings about a sense of um, guidance and mystery and tapping into the feminine moon energy here. 
So there's a lot of uh, things going on that is going happening beneath the surface, okay? But I feel a lot of you, you're getting excited about this or you soon will be if you're not because you're unraveling something, you're trusting something more about yourself too. Let's get this journey by, oh, what in the world? I didn't even know, why would this card, oh, okay, that's super weird. Well, I don't know why the Page of Swords came out, but you know, here's this new beginning. So believe in magic. The, the Page of Swords could be a little bit challenging because we, we may have had to deal with a lot in the past. So for some of you, not all of you, because the Page of Swords can also have the mindset of being really excited, but take it if it resonates. Because some of you, there could be something where you're gonna have to have a lot of mental focus or strength, especially when it comes to uh, navigating oneself in looking and making decisions and choices and perceiving in a, in a new, whole new way and not letting the past or maybe anything from childhood surface up that could cloud that moon, right? Because the moon is highly bright and illuminating you. So there's some type of new tool, new gift as well with the sword. And so spirit is saying, have a beginner's mind and believe in magic. You've got some type of tool right now or soon you will to you know, uh, tap into this magic. Ask more questions if you need to. I feel like for some of you, as you're grounding and going deep, exploring your roots, because I'm sensing like a sense of soul searching here or going deep like Hermit would do possibly, um, ask questions, ask your angels, talk, okay? And then I am also noticing we're in a state of observation too. So we're, pre we're, we're preparing, right? We're getting ready to see something brand new. And then I'm also hearing, don't let the little things or challenges uh, bother you too much here. Some of you could be um, maybe reading more, studying more, whether it's for pleasure or, or not. I'm just sensing something about gaining knowledge consuming and being a sponge <laughs> with knowledge here what else for the viewer i mean obviously i guess that page of swords came out because now we're channeling out of this deck interesting that page of sword was already there so did you notice i mean i didn't know that the page of swords was already flipped out on this you know deck here so it's like right there boom <laughs> something's there right Beneath the surface, it shall be revealed. Maybe a mystery person too, for some of you. What else for the viewer? I told you, I'm sensing star energy. Um, I think, you know, I was picking that up earlier. Ah, earlier, navigating by the stars, follow your bliss. Some, some, you may need to quiet out the sounds around you so that you can hear what is your bliss, right? Even if it's a small seed right now, okay? Some of you, it's been germinating, it's growing, it's sprouting. <laughs> but follow your bliss. This is the key to navig being navigated by the stars, your star ancestors, brothers and sisters in the heavens above. This is about your destiny, okay, viewer? What else? for the viewer. Also viewer, uh, you may, depending on when you get this video, cause it is a timeless video, but you may wanna check out the life path messages if you haven't already for your zodiac sign or sun, moon, rising and Venus signs. Um, I feel it's strongly tied in with this as well, okay? And also don't worry, for some of you viewers, your oracle messages will be coming out. Traveling lightly, a view from above. Oh, okay. That's kind of interesting because I'm seeing this page of swords where there's something going on here <laughs> where it's like stretching the mind a little bit, but in a really good and positive way where, yeah, it's like you can be up in this hot air balloon um, and see what's going on. Now, speaking of hot air balloon, was there someone that you could have dealt with or maybe there was a situation where, you know, there was just a bunch of hot air <laughs> going on between you or another here. Um, anyhow, just take that if it resonates. I know it won't for all of you, uh, but you're getting the bigger picture so that you can have an opportunity here. And maybe for some, I feel that you're distancing or spacing or decluttering, um, you know, things, people, whatever, 
energies, emotions out of one's life so that you are um, getting back to maybe appreciating the simplicities in life, traveling lightly, a big indication of traveling viewers. So you're, you're getting ready to, again to, to uh, go to far away places, okay? Physically, spiritually, mo you know, it could be all of it. What else for the viewer? Viewer, you got better. You better trust. There's a divine plan, and you notice in this desert uh, passage, it's like through these times of like having to really persevere, in a sense of being, you know, like it's like desolate here. Wow! Remember, we're talking about there's something that's going to be revealed here, and just when you don't realize it, believe in magic. Okay, this this is your part in the divine plan is to have confidence. I'm just noticing you keep showing up, viewer, with a staff, a power staff is what I'm seeing. Okay, so there's something about you. I mean, look at this. You've got a staff here. You've got your lantern. You know, there's something interesting here. Maybe maybe this could be a staff, but I don't know. I'm seeing this with like a, a bird cage, right? You're getting ready to set sail or be free. The staff right here, okay, to help carry you forward. Look at that, the staff right there. Oh, it's just wonderful. So you got to trust that there is a divine plan for your future, okay? Your future is unfolding right before your eyes. Continue to believe in magic. And I would say, take this if it resonates, try not to put past expectations into the future. Yeah, because that's that, that could be challenging for some of you. Um, now let's continue and see. Now it doesn't mean like if you do it that it's gonna mess everything up, okay? It's not, you know, you're not meant to be like constantly on, um, you know, thought monitoring. I mean, that would, you know, if you were constantly having to monitor all your thoughts, that would be completely <laughs> exhausting, right? Just pay attention to how you're feeling because usually how you're feeling is produced by what you're thinking. And then you can have that awareness and shift it um, and get, get, get excited about where you're going. I'm seeing some fun though. I mean, fun. It's fun, fun, faraway places. You could be doing things that maybe you didn't even know you could do or that was available to do. And it can really open up your world. What else for the viewer? <laughs> Begin now. Beginning a new cycle. Oh, thank God. We're ready for a new cycle. So... Here it is, okay? The moon is going to illuminate what's gonna be hatching. There's like four eggs in there, so there's quite a bit. It's a sense of family, a sense of maybe a nest, nesting, security, okay? A new cycle and feeling more grounded, more assured of oneself and what's going on. What else for the viewer? If you were the, a breakthrough is at hand, so your perseverance is paying off here. The more that you could be at ease and relax, the more you're going to see this breakthrough at hand here. Here it is. Yeah, this breakthrough. What else? Viewer, a breakthrough is at hand because a bountiful time awaits you. Your wishes could manifest right before your eyes. Remember, we were already picking this up. Well, I was for you, viewer. I was already picking this up with this believe in magic. Oh my goodness. It's like, you don't even know. It's like, boom, there is something or someone. It's perfect. Whatever it is, it's going to be perfect. It's going to lead you to more and more magic in one's life. Okay. So the magic is breeding and brewing and ready to explode from out of you. You got a lot of power. This is magician energy. So magical uh, energy and divine magic is surrounding you. What else for the viewer? Major life change. You're ready. You're, you've been feeling restless probably. So time is right for major life changes as a new lifestyle. This viewer, we're talking about that lifestyle, the beginning of a new cycle for you where you feel more rooted, grounded, secure, feeling good and, and maybe getting to do other things that are fun. Okay, if you're not been doing that, right? Some of you, maybe you have. Anyhow, a new lifestyle or location brings great joy and 
hello, trouble-free existence. And that's what I see. You're going and moving towards trouble-free existence here because your soul knows the way to that trouble-free existence. That's part of instincts, intuition. What else? That's why animals are so good about knowing when to go for shelter when, you know, we have like earthquakes and, and things like that. And also we have that capability. We just, some just don't tap into it and that's fine. Voyage of the heart, wondrous universe, walk in beauty. I am sensing king and queen of cups too. So some something about you feeling safe to love and trust. A lot of you viewers, if um, you know, you've been seeking some type of fulfillment and support with another, you will get that. But right now you're just meant to really indulge and bliss out, open your heart. You know, look at the sailboat too. So there is something about faraway places, you know, and I feel that your heart is super loud. It's like the drum of the universe too. So it's hard not to hear what it is that your heart is, you know, wanting to create wanting to magnetize, and yes, communicating to other another heart or hearts, okay? You're meant to be in this state of glory and bliss, no matter where you're at or how old you are in life, just walk in beauty and expect, um, you know, a sense of like feeling free flowing here. So the more that you feel grounded yet free flowing emotionally, spiritually, and mentally, the easier it's going to be to walk this path of beauty, grace, magic, okay? It doesn't mean like it's going to be all unicorns, rainbows, and sparkles all the time. I mean, we know that's not the case. It is, however, the case when it comes to your inner world, no matter what the outer world is going on. This is why it takes a lot of strength for, you know, spiritual warriors, gangsters, okay, to be very strong in who and what they are and what their beliefs are. Uh, tapping into maybe more futuristic ways of doing things and thinking that just uh, makes sense. <laughs> so you'll be shown this. You'll be shown this. And you can take your time and have fun. And you can also make mistakes. You're allowed to make mistakes. Making mistakes makes you beautiful and perfect. What else for the viewer? Passion and pleasure. Take time to, you know, this thing about simple, there was something about simple, simple, simple traveling or whatever. Travel lightly, right? Simplify your life. You know, someone or people are enjoying just hanging out, listening to music, dancing. So some of you, um, there could be something that uh, you have a connection here with, with others or soon to be, but also it's important to be in this place of, you know, igniting that passion and pleasure but I do see you having good time. See, this is all about a new cycle of, you know, wow, it's like you've done all this work and now we finally get to kind of be more rooted and grounded and have some fun, inviting energies. And I do see, you know, it's important. If you, if you do have this now, viewer, because uh, maybe some of you don't, but if you do have this now, it, it's important to, you know, dance, listen to music, play music, write music, um, you know, something being wild and free where you can express yourself with others because that's important to be able to have something, um, you know, with others that we like, you know, and so we're all just enjoying ourselves. There could be something about campsites or RVs or, you know, something like that, traveling lightly, right? Now, again, it doesn't necessarily have to be far. It could just be, you know, your next town over. What else for the viewer? So you are reflecting and redirect, redirecting your energy because you are the director of your life, viewer. Now, some of you viewers coming out with this page of swords, you might feel like a brand new producer, <laughs> director, I should say. You know, uh, if this is going to be, because we're talking about star energy, so I'm seeing you as the star of your own life, right? And so... Yeah, it might be a little challenging, but you're gaining experience. So take some time, you know, to because um, I do feel it's important to reflect and redirect your energy. This is why it's okay when you feel the need to ground yourself or stop and pause. It's totally okay because you need to trust that there's a divine plan here. Okay, so you're being asked to just 
activate some type of life force within you just by remaining still and aware, following your bliss, maybe continue to simplify or enjoy the simple things in life. All right, what else for the viewer? Luck, this one wants to come out too. Oh my gosh, this one wanted to come out right after the luck and you'll see why. It's like this magnet, you're just magnetizing these things to you. A sudden change of luck is likely, viewer. Things are working in your favor. Excellent time for networking. Sunshine, the sun is shining on you. Career and business, growth, fabulous communications in relationships, viewer. Okay, nice. And we're just talking about this, you know, vibrant life force. And here is the sunshine. <laughs> Here you are, viewer. You know what I'm seeing that's so funny? Just because I do like to do a little tiny bit of gardening, but it's indoor. Trust me. Okay. Not that I wouldn't do it outdoors, but I'm in a new place, so I'm trying to figure things out. Anyhow, purification, right? Here, oh my goodness, I see you. Here you are, viewer, right? You're the seed, okay? And so you're like, the seed in the um, earth, uh, you know, water and soil. And then with that sun, the sun is like, you know, what does that sun do? It activates, it sprouts that new life, that new cycle. That's exactly what's happening to you. It's so cute. I love it. Okay, what else for the viewer? You're answering the call, viewer. You're answering the call. The time is now. Mm. Mm-hmm. I feel a lot of you viewers, uh, there's something with str strength card or the Zodiac Leo, this, you know, not all of you, but if we we're going to talk about that, I do feel strength card should be out here, um, you know, because this is the thing that I'm getting. It's like you being brave and courageous. You, you've been preparing for this for all of your life and lifetimes. You've been going through um, past life experiences for a lot of you viewers uh, to come into this place in this moment now. You've heard the call, man, you know, do it. Feel, what, what is it that's igniting you, okay? Now, some of you, you may need to, again, drown out the noises around you, then you can hear the call because it will be very loud and clear Okay, and it's gonna uh, help you move with a lot of momentum and power. Okay, what else for the viewer? Lifestyle change and that king of rods. This is this thing about, I mean, this is gonna be a lot of messages here. And there's that hermit. Oh my God, and there's a star card. <laughs> oh my God, and page of pentacles. Okay, there's quite a bit here. So remember this lifestyle change we were talking about, asserting yourself? Well, this is exactly you doing this. Now, it's kind of interesting because you start out as a page here where now you're building up momentum. We've got you you moving up to the Knight of Swords here. This is where we take action. This is where we assert ourselves. This is when we make our, our thoughts, our opinions, our honesty known. Uh, because we have so much confidence here. Now, I do feel, okay, there's a lot. We've got the King of Rods here too. Uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We got the Five of Cups. This is a card of sadness, grief, um, purifying, maybe old energies. Yeah, because you've been exploring deep here. Soul searching for some of you. It's almost like I'm hearing that song, Selena Gomez song, what, Lose You to Love Me or something. There might be something like that with some of you because uh, there could have been a significant relationship or relationships that have been, you know, um, both aspects, very powerful and then very, uh, very powerful. And then maybe it felt disempowering at the same, at the same time or, you know, was very powerful at first and boom, things happen here. But Rest assured, there's a divine plan here for you. So it's like, don't get di so disappointed about the past viewer. You're going to be given something and someone. I do see true love for a lot of you viewers. So please do not give up on true love, okay? Or uh, mending a relationship with a true love for some of you. But take what resonates because you are, my goodness, um, navigating. You're following your bliss. Look, viewer, I, I wish I could, I wish I had like 10 hands here. Um, how do I do this? Okay. Her, okay, let, okay, 
let's talk about these three cards here, okay? And here you are changing, um, envisioning something brand new for yourself because we, we almost have to be forced to in a sense, right? Because spirit doesn't want you to feel stuck. Um, there could have been something going on here where, you know, either someone was in the way or we didn't get something into fruition or we thought that's, you know, we thought that we weren't going to get something to fruition, but maybe it just wasn't the right time, right? So now here's this first light, the first cycle, and you have that sunshine first light. Okay, so here's the first light is the hermit. We were talking about hermit because I felt him coming through, and this is you too, the wise one, and you're carrying your staff, of course, and you've got your um, lantern, and look, the star. This is you being carried, right? Um, because you have something. You have something to hold yourself with, to carry you forward, uh, some type of resource, and yes, maybe a person here, a friendship. Um, so what was I going with this? Oh, the navigating by stars. Okay, so he here you are navigating yourself because you're navigating. Uh, the hermit is illuminating their path, okay, because you're following your bliss, and here you are because this is driving you. And look, <laughs> here it is. You're in tuned, like the Knight of Cups would be, into this following your bliss, reaching a destination that you're meant to reach and to bliss out on and to feel good about. And yes, I feel like someone, absolutely a lot of you, there is some one and people totally lined up on your path, viewer. That is good and positive, future positive prospects on the horizon, absolutely, viewer. Okay, I love it. Okay, so then this one's like right here. All right, okay. Well, you know we were talking about this, so we don't need to go over this again. We're just gonna have to set them where they, where they land. I don't know, is that in the camera there? Okay. All right, let's see what else for the viewer. Oh, and then we need to put that back. Talking about spiritual warrior, spiritual gangster, or just someone who, you know, they're not going to put up with, you know, less than some type of truth. You stand in the light of truth, viewer. Honor that. Hold that space. Who cares what the elders or others are doing for some of you? You've got something that you know. It's okay to take on knowledge and messages from the elders or others, but you st at, at, all in all, at the end of the day, you got to do what it is that's right for you that makes your light stand, uh, you know, keep standing and shining bright. And this is why discovering truth, you become this beautiful, brilliant, bright star. What else for the viewer? So viewer, you know, hmm, this kind of, you know, whenever you get this video and it resonates for you, then it's meant for you. I feel like this one wants to show it, so we're just going to leave it. Uh, there's something that I feel, there definitely the signs that have been done before this video for life path messages would resonate. Um, and I feel a lot of you would, whether you have Leo placements in your chart or not, viewer, I feel that a lot of you may even resonate with the Leo's life path messages, which is really, you know, guidance about your life path or life purpose. So um, anyhow, just do it if you feel like it. <laughs> Here is a new way, new direction, new opportunity. Okay, it's coming from the heavens above because you got to trust that there is a divine plan. And here's your breakthrough. Your breakthrough is at hand. It's coming and it's nearing. Now, the other thing with this Ace of Wands, though, viewer, is you're going to have to have a lot of energy for this. So you might as well try to pay attention to where you're exerting your energy way too much and where you can, um, you know, reserve your energy, right? Because you are taking time to reflect and redirect your energy. 
Because sometimes the squirrel gets so busy, you know, gathering and bearing, um, you know, acorns or whatever for the future, but then they forget where they put them all, you know, and then it's like, oh my goodness. So just kind of re retrace, not retrace, uh, retract your energy back and you'll be just fine. Don't worry about maybe the things that was lost or maybe you forgot or don't know or don't remember. Let's just start from where we're at right now um, because a new uh, seed has Brooded. See, remember I told you. <laughs> and here it is. Boom. So beautiful. We got fire sign coming through. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Let's see what this little funny card was. Oh my God, this tower. You know, I here's divine intervention. And I have to show you something. I saw it earlier. I, I should have said it too, but that's okay. I see the knight is like powerfully engaging in some type of major life change because we know that this is from the heavens above whatever doesn't stand in our truth will be removed so i feel like obstacles things are being removed from your path viewer there is some type of major change here okay let's get a little bit more though with the um, tower for you because i do feel it is very positive and if you notice i mean there is something that will maybe just mind-blowing or just kind of blows you away here with this ace of wands because there may be a crazy amount of passion here with you and another too so this could be highly charged sexual attraction but it goes deep here um you know well take what resonates for you but i feel for a lot of you if we're talking about like some type of like uh connection here about you know your your calling here it's gotta be this deep spiritual you know, highly attracted, um, see, energy. This is why I, to I told you your heart is speaking to another. But anyhow, let's get a little bit. Okay, the other thing that I want to say before uh, I get into this other card on this tower is um, don't be scared of whatever uh, changes happen because this could be for some of you your exit and there's a new direction and a new way for you. So don't get upset if something just kind of falls away or falls apart. It's meant to because there's a divine plan. Um, but that's not going to resonate for all of you because some of you, this is a surprise like change, enlightenment uh, happening here. I want more though with the tower, please, for the viewer. Let's get more with this tower for the viewer. And this is also out of our control too. Oh my God, see? Ah, uh, it's gonna be someone or something. Oh, okay, so just notice what we were talking about, that Ace of Wands, okay, viewer? Okay, this is what Spirit wants you guys to know. Uh, an important, okay, important offer will be made. Be prepared and dress to impress. <laughs> That's kind of funny. But yeah, this is a new cycle, new way, new life. So big old opportunity, it's, oh, wow. You guys can see how powerful that is. It's gonna change everything for you, for a lot of you in a good way. And some of you, this opportunity is just gonna, it's going to blast anything out of your life that is just not suited for what the stars have lined for you. What else for the viewer? Ace of Pentacles, and then this funny card I feel like wants to show itself. You got another new beginning, viewer. It's solid, okay? There's a new commitment on the horizon that's going to make you feel better. There could be a wise investment. Uh, big time money here, too, because you go from the page of Pentacles and turning it into the Ace of Pentacles for a lot of you, so more resources, more money, or a new opportunity, okay? Uh, definitely a stable commitment here, a sense of security either way that has a potential to be very prosperous for you, viewer, okay? Now, what's this little funny card that was shown? Oh, Queen of Wands here. Oh, so cute. Have confidence with what you get and what you attain. Maintain a sense of, you know, pride, right? The Queen of Wands kind of is a master too at... Um, I would say, 
getting herself back, <laughs> especially when she's uh, been a little out of control or she's been a little overconfident. She'll just try again and again and again until she perfects something. But she absolutely is asserting herself and going for what she wants. I can see that with this too. Okay, so um, a lot of you are going to see the results you need to, especially when it comes to things that you've been doing, creating, or leading. Um, and yes, for some of you, damn, this is someone. This is like your match. <laughs> Told you, there's like a love situation. So we got the king and the queen of rods together. And it's a power couple. It's a beautiful uh, partnership, okay? Okay. What else for the viewer? Oh, speaking of, oh my gosh. Remember, remember, and I would say the king and the queen of rods, which is the king and the queen of wands, would be prepared and dressed to impress. Because you're, you're meant to stand out, viewer. And doing these little shifts, even like, you know, viewer, I'm sure you may know this, but maybe for some you need to hear this, doing like little shifts, getting a haircut, doing something new, getting a new wardrobe, that is all acts of self-care, not that you would like drain the bank to get a new wardrobe or a new outfit, but just buying something new, right? You know how you feel when you get some kind of new apparel, you feel good, right? Yeah, that's it, okay? You deserve something, so, you know, for some of you, Maybe get rid of that old stuff and, and get something, one good damn thing for yourself if you feel like it. Because you're going to have the money for it anyways, viewer. Seriously. Um, the Ace of Pentacles is a fortune here. Or it turns into a fortune. Everything is smooth sailing. You're in the flow. Look at this. This is like Christmas time, like gifts. It's going to be Christmas almost like all year long for you. Um, and you might need to get used to that because that's just how it's going to be. It's like Christmas will... Uh, be a ongoing thing if you celebrate Christmas. And if not, you know, just think of it as an ongoing thing of, you know, always being able to receive and give compliments, gifts, um, and feeling good about where you're going here. So I see this thing where you're being lifted up in the air. Look at that. You're being lifted up in the air here. Okay. So it's only a matter of time before um, you start to really feel this, you know, smooth sailing if you're not feeling it just yet continue to believe in magic. What else for the viewer? Great adventure. Take a risk, <laughs> right? You're going to be going for something or whatever you want. Venture forward. We've got the sailboat and another thing about the boat coming through here. So I do sense six of swords, um, a beautiful time where you guys can get excited. Um, yeah, sometimes the six of swords though can be challenging because you know, we're not really sure about what the, the future holds for us. And we still are having to deal with remnants of the past of conflicts or maybe struggles. But it is um, it is exiting its way out of your auric field. OK, so take a risk and venture forward because you've got a great adventure up ahead. Remember, an opportunity <laughs> with that ace of wands and that ace of pentacles. Take a risk, right? An important offer will be made. Okay, and here's that important offer too. That's that Ace of Pentacles. What else for the viewer? Declutter. Oh my God, we were talking about that. Declutter so that you guys can put up your new achievements and attain new things. Or if you don't want to attain new things, there just may be something here where take what resonates. Because here you are in that Knight of Swords. Uh, declutter your life. Let go of correspondence, objects, and people you no longer want. Get in focus here. Let's see if we can get this in focus. Sorry. I don't think it will. Anyhow, someone will, oh, there you go. Someone will hurt your feelings and reveal a new side of themselves that you may wish to avoid. Ooh. Some of you guys, that maybe it's already happened or don't be afraid if someone reveals something. This is something powerful for you to use as a asset in your life because now you know what could be false in one's life that doesn't add value, okay? So whatever interruption is actually helping you achieve uh, better situations, better people. And then, you know, we've got this thing about decluttering. 
Oh, speaking of some of you guys with that thing about a reveal, someone may reveal a new side. Maybe they have already or with you becoming more and more successful and possibly just not settling for what you know you deserve, that could stir up a lot of triggers and jealousy out of others. And that's fine. Just just, just kind of know that and just be aware of it. Don't give it any, any attention because you do have this thing about achievement. We had that sunshine card coming out and you can see with the king and the uh, king and the queen of rods, this is a big time success here. Enjoy the limelight. Okay, viewer, I am pretty sure at the beginning of the reading, I was picking up that six of wands and that's what this would be with that sunshine is um, enjoying that limelight. You've earned it, although on the family front, someone's health could cause some secret worries or sleepless nights or perhaps maybe some of you might be feeling a little burnt out so again you just take time to redirect and reflect your energy here okay and speaking of health you know we've got the sun card and i was picking up something about some of you being taken care of during difficult times or maybe some type of physical element and if it's not a physical it could just be you know an emotional element because we have to deal with you know, um, a time period where we just have to give in to accepting the things that just didn't work out, uh, the things that, you know, we have to, um, some of you, it's hard though, because we're so focused on what we lost here that we don't see the two cups, but viewer, goodness, look at how big the two cups here is behind him. And we were just talking about love. Okay. So love yourself, love your situation, and know that if something didn't work out for you, viewer, it's because you've got to believe that there is a higher plan, uh, uh, there's a divine plan, and there's something that spirit is wanting to give to you that's so much better, okay? What else for the viewer? Knight of Pentacles. This is you redirecting and reflecting your energy here, taking your time, okay? Um, you are making solid progress, so just take your time with things, okay? And you are drawing in someone. Things could maybe seem like it's going slow, but beneath the surface, things are actually going a lot quicker than you realize. Just have confidence here and maintain your position or continue doing what's working for you because, you know, here's this Knight of Pentacles who is continuing to be consistent on something here, and so a breakthrough is absolutely at hand. What else for the viewer? We got Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn coming through as well, viewer. Oh, you got someone coming, viewer. This is, oh my God, this is a powerful reading, viewer. The sun card, you already have the sun card achievement. There's a big time love thing going on here too for you, viewer, a powerful love. Um, now for some of you, if you don't resonate with that, with someone, it is a powerful thing between you, spirit, and what your life purpose is. And there ain't nothing that's gonna shake you, okay? You're definitely being shielded and protected, but also spirit and, you know, spirit wants to give to you your needs, your needs matter viewers. So if, you know, companionship, support resources are needed for you, that's what you are going to gain. We got a love affair, big time thing. Okay. You guys, I just can't, I can't with this. <laughs> and also, I mean, business growth, fabulous communication and relationships, the, the sun is shining on you or it will. But we have to, and we had to, for some of you already did this, remove the clutter, right? We can't see the sun with all of this cloudiness, right? Okay. What else for the viewer? Yeah, viewer, lay your burdens down. This, it, you're completing something. Now, for some viewers, take it if it resonates. If you feel that you just need to finish something, then just, you know, see things through completion. But we be willing, be willing to look at a new opportunity for you too, okay? Um, remember, I was picking something up about burnout here. So you do need to pay attention to your uh, health or stress levels or you know, too much going on that could be a distraction because I feel like these 10 of wands are only making you feel like progress is going slower. So don't worry, viewer, as you start to reflect and redirect your energy and explore your roots, you're going to figure out which of these wands are not necessary to carry anymore. 
what else for the viewer? Yeah, because you're about to, <laughs> you're receiving what you need to from the heavens. So go ahead and um, get excited about who and what is coming. Uh, a lot of results are happening. Remember, this is a bountiful time. So you're going to be shouting to the heavens with happiness, viewer. Okay, because the heavens can hear you loud and clear. What else for the viewer? Just enjoy the, the journey, viewer. Oh, look at this. Yeah, because you're clearing the air and the air is going to be cleared for you. Oh my goodness. Look at the distance thunder. You guys, This look at how spirit is communicating to you, viewer. The thunder and the, the tower. It's being cleared for you. See how the heavens and spirit really has so much more power and control. And if we surrender it, surrender it to it, then we become that magic with it. Okay. So, woo, God, you are loved by the heavens viewer. Don't ever doubt that. What else for the viewer? Yep. You're going to be discovering treasure. You're going to have a true gift, true treasure. I'm seeing lots of prosperity or a, uh, a period, or at least being comfortable in life viewer. You've got something going on here where you're going to uncover. We were talking about this at the beginning of the reading with that moon. Uh, what else? Okay. That's it for those. So Vera, let's find out what you have to look forward to in the near future. What is, oh my goodness. You are mystic healer. There's quite a oh, look. All these messages are coming out for you. <laughs> Healing energy is flowing through you. So this is what you have to look forward to in the near future. Look, being a um, powerful mystic healer or being powerful as a mystic of however you see it fit, um, embracing a whole new way of life, right? Because a fresh new way of living emerges because you are stepping into the unknown, but you are stepping into power because you know you're exactly where you need to be. This is what you have to look forward to in the near future. Knowing exactly where you need to be and treading thoughtfully, taking your time, okay? Not making more rumbles than one needs to in life or ripples than one needs to in life because you're being very careful. You're being um, more, you know, maybe approaching a situation with ease, um, practicality here. And yes, being aware of others because you know that you're getting through some type of transformation here and it's, you're going to get to your destination. Uh, let's find out how spirit is helping you viewer currently. How is spirit helping the viewer? Oh, this one's not even in the camera. How is spirit helping the viewer? Every time I think I'm getting one, two comes out, taking shelter. Oh yeah, finding your place. Finding your place where you can explore and go deep. Um, I'm sensing more of that hermit card in solace. This, see, you're gonna find that place where you can open your spiritual source and feel that freedom. This is part of you feeling that freedom. So spirit is helping you guys seek those answers within, helping you redirect, uh, reflect and redirect your energy. So know that spirit is going to uh, bring you or show you that place. Remember the hermit that came out where you can open up to that spiritual source and feel safe to do so because you do deserve this. So viewer, I hope that was helpful. There was a lot of messages for you. Um, love and light. Take care.